Hello and welcome to another episode of Inventor's Quick Tips. In this episode, we are going to cover how to discuss your patent application with the Patent Office using examiner interviews. A common practice when trying to get an application through the Patent Office is the examiner interview. This is where you get to discuss your application with the examiner to see how you can get past your current rejections and move the case forward towards an allowance and issuance of a patent. Having examiner interviews can help resolve issues more quickly, potentially getting you to your end goal of an issued patent more quickly, saving you both time and money. So when would be an appropriate time to attempt an interview? Usually, after you receive an office action that contains rejections of some or all of your claims, and ideally, you want to have the interview before you respond to that office action. This way, if there is any helpful advice or tips that the examiner shares with you, you can put that into your response so you don't end up with just another rejection. This is a key way in which interviews can save you time and money. So how do you set up an interview? Typically, you can call the examiner. The examiners list their phone number at the bottom of the office action. There is also an online system, and the office action includes that link. You can use that to propose a time for the interview online. So where are these interviews held? Most of the time by telephone. This is called a telephonic interview. You can do a video conference if you want to be able to show something to the examiner. Interviews can be done in person, although that practice is currently suspended due to COVID-19. And I'm currently not sure when, if that practice will return. The fact is, more and more patent examiners are working remotely now, too. So I think the in-person interview was getting less common anyway before COVID. And post-COVID, I expect it may be used infrequently if, in fact, the in-person interview is restored. So what do we do to prepare for this interview? I recommend to prepare an agenda. What do we want to discuss and focus on the main sticking points of the current rejections? If, based on the rejection, you are planning to make some change to the claims, it's a good idea to prepare an edited claim ahead of time. You should also prepare some remarks. Remarks could, could include a bullet point or a brief sentence or two about why your claims, perhaps the newly edited claims, should be considered to overcome the rejection. For example, how are the claims you edited different from the cited references? Here's an example of something I might send to an examiner ahead of time. Usually, you can fax or email some documents to the examiner in advance of the interview. I recommend doing this at least three business days before the scheduled interview to give the examiner a chance to look it over prior to the interview. Of course, what you see here is not a real claim, but just something to help illustrate what the agenda may look like, where we have a claim and the newly added parts are shown in bold and underlined. I might also prepare some remarks. Then when we have the interview, it might go something like this. First of all, examiner, thank you for granting this interview. As you can see, I have made some amendments to claim one, adding additional features that were disclosed in our original application, namely the stainless steel exterior. Now the reference you cited, Wells, is clearly different from the currently claimed invention in that we have now recited the stainless steel exterior and the flux capacitor. Both features are not present with Wells. So do you think this amendment helps move the case forward? And then you see what the examiner has to say. Note that in most cases, even if the examiner indicates that it can help move the case forward or get you past the current rejection, an examiner will typically not say, yes, this will get your application allowed and a patent issued. They will usually say that it requires some more searching based on the new claim and see if anything more specific to your new claims can be found. So typically, the best you get is, yes, your amendment helps, 
Now, if the examiner says it doesn't help, then you can ask, well, examiner, based on your understanding of the application, which direction seems most promising for moving the case forward? The examiner may share some helpful information with you, and this may be something you can put into the response that you are going to file so you can more quickly reach some kind of agreement with the examiner about your patentable subject matter. So let's summarize. Again, the goal of the interview is to move your application forward. In most cases, at best, you'll get an indication that you overcame the current rejection, but it is rare, at least on a first office action, that an examiner will indicate over the phone that your application will be allowed. It is common, even when your changes or remarks get you past the current rejection, that the examiner will have to do a bit more checking. And one final thing. If you are doing this yourself without the help of a patent professional, tell the examiner that you are a pro se inventor. That means that you are representing yourself with no patent attorney or agent helping you. In that situation, most examiners will take it a little slower and try to help you move the case forward. This is complex stuff, and in general, I do not recommend inventors handle this by themselves because I think their time is better spent working on their own invention and their own business plans rather than the details of patent office rules and laws. However, I recognize that due to limited resources or perhaps a desire to handle it themselves, some inventors may go down this road. So hopefully you found this helpful, and if you did, please like, share, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.